Assistant Manager Father Joe TJ, Sisters, Teachers, Parents and all my dear students. Sending you season's greetings and best wishes. After a very tumultuous 2020-21 academic year, we are here to express our gratefulness to God Almighty for His goodness and kindness over us. It's because of His graciousness we have beaten new paths to make this academic year a productive one. I sincerely thank our manager, Reverend Father Joe TJ, for all the support and encouragement extended during this extraordinary year of coronavirus. I am also ever grateful to Headmistress Sister Poonam CJ and Sister Rose CJ for being there as a strong pillars of strength and guidance. Thank you Father Joes and my dear sisters. Together we remained as focused and committed to the mission entrusted to our care. In these apprehensive times of COVID-19, I would like to give thanks from my heart to the teachers who are burning midnight oil to give their best through this new mode of teaching, that is, online classes. My dear teachers, you have been the best of yourselves in this academic year. You have been more creative and diverse in your thinking and teaching methods and along the way discovering many skills you did not previously needed or possessed. Thank you and praying that you may remain as blessed as you are in the coming year through. I am ever grateful to our administrative staff for working at the extra mile to be flexible in this new normal. I also thank Mr. Saji and the entire team of support staff for all the assistance in taking the school through the new normal. We are grateful to all the parents of our students for the support and cooperation we receive and proud of the growth of your children. A shout out goes to dear parents and dear guardians who made your homes your child's classroom while you were trying to work from home but still making the time and effort to teach and support all our students. My dearest students, as the year comes to an end, we need to remember all the wonderful things that happened from March 2020 to March 2021. A year filled with new learning experiences, many accomplishments in both academics and co-curricular and also in the overall online schooling. Congratulations to you dear Marians for embracing the change. We and your parents are proud of you. Always remember to study hard, read every day and dedicate yourselves in making next year even better. Now coming to the epic batch of class 12 the outgoing batch who completed the final year of their schooling as home scholars. My dearest class 12, we will definitely miss you in the school when we come back to normalcy with the classes. Dear students, you had been an important part of St. Mary's. Now, after completing class 12, you start at the threshold of entering into a completely new world. Dear children, enter into this new world with enthusiasm and hope of being a winner in life. Have an ambition in life and keep dreaming until you fulfill it. Wish you all the very best for the up upcoming board exam and also wish you all a successful life. Stay connected. As we come to the end of the school year, we recognize and reflect upon the success, achievement and required flexibility and patience that we, the management, our staff, parents and students have had to rely on collectively. As a collaborative team, we value the importance of building strong relationships with all and school and we appreciate the support that we have received from one another. 
as we embarked on a new journey of virtual schooling at the outbreak of coronavirus pandemic. This school ending has been quite different. With a grateful heart, let's all thank God the Almighty and say, Thank you, Lord. I now welcome our students for the Thanksgiving assembly with which we conclude the academic year 2020-21. When we least expect it, life sets us a challenge to test our courage and willingness to change. And really, what a challenging year we have all had. We were all getting ready for another academic year to begin in March 2020 and looking forward for new vistas to open up for us with renewed determination to excel. But all of a sudden, there was announcement of lockdown due to COVID outbreak. We were all bewildered and shocked. The news of the spread of COVID-19 virus was trickling in, but it would lead to this kind of situation was unimaginable. The initial reaction of curiosity, excitement and bemusement transformed to disappointment and anxiety very quickly as lockdown kept on getting extended. It seemed we were all part of a horror movie and the ghost of coronavirus would attack us any time. We were all getting desperate to lead a normal life. Someone rightly said, being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. And we all did not choose to be defeated. Together we, our school management, our parents decided to run over these challenges instead of running from them. Without much delay, online classes began. Parents struggled to get us resources. The school management strove hard to provide us the appropriate online teaching platform. And teachers left no stone unturned to update themselves with this new mode of teaching. And a new normal began in an abnormal situation. Keeping faith in difficult situations helps us to overcome even the most trying and challenging time. Today, as we stand here, we can say very proudly that we have come out triumphant despite all the challenges. On behalf of all Marians, I take this opportunity to express a heartfelt gratitude to all those who turn these challenges to most empowering lessons. Today, with a grateful heart, we thank you, Lord, for the academic year 2020-21. We thank you, Lord, for the new normal. We thank you for our school management our manager, our principal, and all our dear sisters. We thank you, Lord, for our teachers, from KG classes to class 12. We thank you, Lord, for our administrative staff. We thank you, Lord, for our support staff. We thank you, Lord, for our parents, our guardians, and all our well-wishers. As we have come to the end of this academic year, we raise our thanksgiving to you, God Almighty, now let us glance through the activities of this academic year as we watch through the online happenings and the entire experience of ours, let's be grateful to God. Now we present before you an online journey of the academic year 2020-21. Let's 
provided us with road map to know the highways and byways of the road of life their relentless effort kept on guiding us towards the right path we all express our deepest gratitude to each and every one in the school for helping us molding us guiding us and mentoring us throughout this journey god has been there at every step giving us strength at every fall giving us courage in challenging times being with us in our moments of lows and moments of highs let us together thank god for always being there for us as we are getting ready to step out of the school all of us have mixed feelings on one hand we are excited to embark a new journey happy to be one step closer to our dreams but on the other hand we are sad to part from our alma mater unhappy to be leaving behind our mentors our friends and a carefree childhood we take this opportunity to express 
Our heartfelt thanks to all our managers and principals for shaping our lives. You all have kindled our spirits with love and we thank all of you from the bottom of our hearts for showing us the path of righteousness, spirituality and honesty. You all have truly been a reflection of God and we shall forever treasure our enriching stay here at St. Mary's. Even in this critical year, in this unprecedented time, you held us, guided us, motivated us and supported us. We, the students of class 12th, on behalf of the entire school, would like to express our heartfelt thanks to our manager, Reverend Father Joe Stige, our principal, Reverend Sister Merlin, our headmistress, Reverend Sister Poonam, and Reverend Sister Rose for arranging and for providing all the infrastructure and resources so that we may continue our journey without any major hindrance even in this pandemic situation. We are especially thankful to Sister Merlin for her never give up attitude. She spent sleepless nights organizing appropriate mode of online classes for us. When security concerns were raised against Zoom platform, she without delay introduced Microsoft Teams for more organized and structured study platform. She not only ensured that we don't fall behind in academics, but also kept us connected and united through various online programs. All special occasions were celebrated with enthusiasm and gaiety because of her inspiration and tireless effort. Thank you, sister. We are deeply indebted to you for all you have done for us. From teaching us our first alphabet to teaching us complex equations and concepts, we can never thank teachers enough for the contribution they made to our developing years. Dear teachers, you have done much more than words can express. We have learned from you, not just to be good, but to be better, to strive harder in life's conquest, and to believe that we can be the best among the rest. Even during this pandemic, you have gone that extra mile and made the transition from Blackboard to online so easy that we didn't miss out on anything. You not only taught us various subjects, but also taught us honesty and integrity. You taught us that truth matters. You taught us that work should be associated with love, compassion and right conduct. We all appreciate the support and care you have given to us. Thank you dear teachers for everything. We dedicate this dance to all those who have helped us who have played a crucial role in developing our personalities and who have helped us to become a better human being. Yeah. <laughs>
greater than mom's love and no care is greater than dad's care how true without the inspiration drive support and sacrifices of our parents we would not have been able to achieve anything our parents are the most precious gifts given to us by god we wish and hope that we become the reason behind their smiles and make them proud we thank the office staff for years of patience when we were annoying for all the support when we were struggling their silent presence and love will always be a part of our memories we are also grateful to all the co-workers who have always been there when we needed them their selfless service will always be appreciated when you kneel to god he stands up for you and when he stands up for you no one can stand against you with this strong belief let us call upon god for a while and seek his blessings on each one of us i request all of you to please join your hands and close your eyes for the prayer when things are gifted to us let us say thanks when favors are rendered to us let us lift our hearts in recognition and gratitude we thank you lord for all your blessings and favor that you have showered on us because of your generosity o oh god our divine guru bless our school our manager reverend father joe stj our principal reverend sister merlin our headmistress reverend sister poonam and reverend sister rose who have always helped us through their rich experiences and able guidance amen day in and day out our teachers nourish us with wisdom and knowledge their encouragement and guidance prepare us for tomorrow's challenges o oh lord bless our teachers may the candles of greatness which they light always shine back to cheer them o oh lord as we bow our heads in prayer we seek your blessings on each and every student help them to cultivate the attitude of gratitude and quiet thankfulness shower your blessings on them for this we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer बहुत ही याद आता है वो स्कूल का जमाना कोई एक परेशान हो तो सबका मिलकर उसको समझाना वो साथ बैठकर हंसना मुस्कुराना शरारत करना डांट खाना और अगले ही पर किसी नई शरारत की ओर बढ़ जाना भुलाए नहीं भूलेंगे वो पल भुलाए नहीं भूलेंगे वो पल वो दिन और वो स्कूल का जमाना Yes dear friends you have added all the colors to this journey laughter joy conflicts and pain it is a blessing that we have shared the most memorable years of our life together these ties shall remain utterly strong wherever life may lead us let us catch a glimpse of all our school memories and relive those moments through these pictures we used to be frightened and scared to try the things we don't really understand why we laugh for a moment and start to cry we were crazy now that the end is already here we reminisce about old yells and cheers Even if our last to raise were never clear
Yesterday's a treasure, today is here. Tomorrow's on its way, the sky is clear. Thank you for the memories of all the laughters and tears. Not to mention our doubts and our fears, the hypertension we gave to our peers. It's really funny to look back after all of these years. Farewell to you, my friends. We'll see each other again. Don't worry, cause it's not the end of everything. Words are powerful. They live forever and have the power to truly guide us. May I now call upon Nandita Ma'am to speak a few words. A very good morning to our principal, Reverend Sister Merlin, Reverend Father Jose TJ, our headmistress, Sister Poona, Sister Rose, teachers and my dear students. On behalf of our Marian family, I, Ms. Nandita Saru, would like to share a few words of wisdom for our epic batch students of 2020-21. If you want to reach heights and soar high, you need to have the courage and willpower to leave the ground below. Dear students, we looked after you as our own children and you consider us as your second parents. We have nurtured you, molded you, and made you into the students you are today. Do not let any obstacles bring you down. Do not let anyone tell you that you are wrong. Believe in yourself and have faith, just like we had faith in you. Students, be brave and positive. Cut your net wide. Be courageous about meeting people, about having a go at something you haven't done. Get acquainted with as many people as possible. The more you know, the more perspective and empathy you will have, as well as the vital connections to help you get to where you want to go. Don't stop learning. Take a piece of school with you, not literally. Over time, you will have absorbed not only information, knowledge and skills, but also an institution's values, culture and history. Take that experience and use it to make a difference in the world. Love of learning is a habit that good schools inculcate in young people. You will need it at university, at work, and simply to make the most of it. Sir Francis Bacon asserts that all knowledge and wonder, which is the seed of knowledge, is an impression of pleasure. Make sure your energies are aimed at those pleasures built. Never imagine that you are too small or insignificant to make a difference. Remember the words of Edmund Burke? Nobody made a greater mistake than he who did nothing because he could do only little. Look to the future, but take the time to get things right. Dear children, keep a sense of perspective. 
think carefully about the difference between what is written on a person's CV and what is said about them at their funeral. There is a difference between the words we use to convey our ambition and usefulness to the job market and the qualities and character traits that tell the deeper story of our lives. When you walk out that gate one last time, we hope that you will come back to us to tell about your endeavors. The highest summit will always be within your reach. On behalf of the entire school, I wish you all the best, dear children. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for this wonderful message. Dance is the hidden language of the soul. It can express happiness, sadness, hopes and dreams. Let us watch this dance performance to express our mixed emotions.
मिलके बिछड़ना तू किस्मत में लिखा यार जान हो तो मेरे करता हो शुक्रिया 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 Thank you all. 